The Martial Arts Scholar presents The History of Karate with a Closer Look at Shotokan. Karate has multiple origins. Throughout history, karate has borrowed from several traditions to form a defined style of self defense. Karate originated in Okinawa, but it's impossible to place it in a definitive timeline, since karate was not always called karate, and also karate is in constant evolution. The history of karate in many ways follows closely the history of Okinawa and its people. From the beginning of Okinawan history, there have been power struggles and wars fought between different clans. Therefore a form of fighting style indigenous to the Ryukyu Islands is thought to have existed from a very early time. However, karate, as we know it today, is not purely an Okinawan art but more of a blend of Okinawan. Japanese and Chinese fighting arts rolled up into one specific and now recognizable self-defense system. Okinawan culture has existed for many centuries. The Ryukyu Islands, present-day Okinawa, lie between two of the great East Asian powers, China and Japan. Located to the southeast of China, and to the southwest of Japan, Okinawa has been blessed and also cursed by this proximity to its neighbors. At many points in history, it has served as a proxy in the power struggle between these two, and has both benefited and suffered for it. Early Japanese Influence Japanese influence is thought to have started at some point between the 10th and 12th centuries, when exiles from Japanese warring clans made it to the Ryukyu Islands, and brought with them their own fighting traditions and styles. One known example of this is that of Minamoto Tamatomo, himself a samurai warrior exiled to Okinawa in the 12th century. Tamatomo eventually became a powerful Aji, Okinawan overlord, on the island, and was among other things known for his ability in hand-to-hand -hand combat and exceptional fighting skill. People like him likely had some influence on what later would become karate. Early Chinese influence. In 1372 the kingdom of Chuzan, one of three kingdoms that formed Okinawa, became a tributary to China under the Ming dynasty, effectively establishing a close economic and cultural relationship and incorporating many of the Chinese traditions into the local ones. In 1393 the 36 families mission from China establishes in Naha, current capital of Okinawa, and this is a turning point as historians believe that this is when Chinese fighting styles as well as other traditions are systematically incorporated into the local society. This relationship with China lasts from 1372 to the 1880s, when Okinawa is annexed by Japan at the beginning of the Meiji Restoration. First Weapons Ban Shohashi, from the first Shou dynasty in Chuzan in 1429 unifies the Okinawan three warring kingdoms, that is Chuzan, Hakuzen, and Nanzan, and declares himself ruler of all Okinawa. In 1507, King Shoshin from the second Shou dynasty, implements a weapons ban on the people and this is credited to further foster the practice of self-defense by the locals. Ongoing Japanese and Chinese influence and second weapons ban. In 1609 the Shimazu clan of Satsuma Japan, after losing at the battle of Sekigahara against Tokugawa Ieyasu, turns its attention to Okinawa and occupies it, ruling it as a client state, parallel to the ongoing Chinese rule for 270 years, until a new Japanese government incorporates Okinawa in the late 1800s during the Meiji Restoration. Okinawa was further influenced in its fighting traditions by both overlord states during these years of dual rule, on the one side China with Kung Fu and on the other Satsuma, home of Jigen Ryu Kenjutsu Samurais. A second weapons ban is enacted by Satsuma, further stimulating the development of empty hand self-defense, and also the use of daily tools as weapons. The art known as Okinawan Kabudo, the daily implements or tools used in Kabudo, according to some sources, were in fact imported from China with the intention to be used as weapons from the start. Evolution into Karate A Kung Fu master in the 18th century, by the name of Kusanku, teaches Chinese Kempo or Kung Fu to the locals. One of his most prominent students is Kanga Sakugawa, also known as Toda Sakugawa, roughly translated as Karate Sakugawa. He is credited as one of the earlier practitioners of the Tia precursor of karate, and also studied in Fuzhou, Beijing, and Satsuma. Toda Sakugawa was in turn, the teacher of Sokan Bushi Matsumura, 
Matsumura also studied in Fuzhou and Satsuma and served as the head of security of the Shuri Palace under several Okinawa kings, where he also taught martial arts including tutoring the king of Okinawa. Matsumura is credited as the creator of what eventually came to be known as Shuri Tei, one of the immediate precursor of several styles of karate including Shotokan. Among his most influential students are many masters who would later go on to develop different styles of karate, but two of the main ones are Anko Asato and Anko Atosu. Asato and Atosu, and to some extent Bushi Matsumura, were teachers of Jichin Funakoshi and many other notable masters of different styles of karate. Anko Atosu was also teacher to Kenua Mabuni, the founder of Shitoyu. A second karate lineage comes from China directly into Okinawa. Yu Yu Ko, a native of Fuzhou and a master of Kung Fu, took as a student a young Okinawan by the name of Kanryo Higeona in 1868. Higeona lived and studied Kung Fu in Fuzhou under Yu Yu Ko for 14 years before returning to Okinawa, where he then taught karate. Eventually his teachings led to the styles of Goju Yu, Ton Yu, and partially to Shita Yu, developed by Chojin Miyagi, Juhatsu Kyoda and Kenwa Mabuni respectively. This second lineage was also influenced by a Chinese tea merchant, Wu Zhiangui, who lived in Okinawa and had a close relationship with Chojin Miyagi among other practitioners of the time. He is also known to have brought with him an early copy of the Bubishi, which is a manuscript of combat based on White Crane and Monk Fist Kung Fu styles. No one knows for sure who actually wrote the Bubishi or who was the first one to bring it from China to Okinawa, but it is well established that the techniques and teachings in this combat manual have influenced modern karate. Shotokan style. 1868 marks a major turning point in the history of Japan and Okinawa. The Meiji Restoration does away with the old shogun rule and ushers a new era of modernism and westernization to the empire. This is also the year Jichin Funakoshi was born in Shuri, to a traditionalist family of the Pechin class or mid-level samurai aristocrat class. Funakoshi is schooled in the traditional way, against the new order, and in school he meets the son of Anko Asato who eventually agrees to take him under his tutelage and starts teaching him karate. In Funakoshi's own words, Master Asato was unsurpassed in Okinawa in the art of karate. He also excelled in horsemanship, Japanese fencing and archery. According to Funakoshi, Asato was also a brilliant scholar. When Asato started teaching karate to Funakoshi there was a ban by the Japanese government on teaching karate and other local traditions. For this reason he had to take his lessons at night and in Asato's backyard. Funakoshi eventually became a school teacher and throughout his studies and early in his career he continued to study under Asato. In Funakoshi's own words, this constant repetition of single kata was grueling, often exasperating and, on occasion, humiliating. Asato would not teach him a new kata until he was fully satisfied with his progress. Through Master Asato he met and trained with Anko Atosu, a close friend of Asato and like Asato, a member of the warrior samurai class. Funakoshi had many masters during his life, but Atosu and Asato were the most influential. He credits both of them as the men that set him off on his path to karate becoming his way of life. He describes Asato as muscular and overall a samurai, while Atosu despite his well-behaved child looks, possessed extraordinary arm and grip strength and was capable of receiving heavy blows without major injury. He also trained at times with old master Bushi Matsumura. By 1901 the ban on teaching karate is lifted and in 1908, largely due to the efforts of Anko Atosu and his outline of his 10 precepts of karate, the Ministry of Education in Japan approves for karate to be taught in the school system in Okinawa to children. Karate is cleaned up at this time, as some of the more violent hidden techniques in the kata are given a different connotation to make them suitable to be taught to children. In 1916 and 1921 Funakoshi is invited to Japan to give karate demonstrations. During this time he establishes relationships with other martial artists, most notably Kano Jigoro, the founder of Judo. He helps set up karate clubs and starts teaching seminars at universities. He eventually moves to Japan where he teaches at the Misijuku, a dormitory for Okinawans in Tokyo. In 1935 the first karate dojo is established in Japan and his students name it the Shotokan, or Hall of Shoto. Shoto meaning pine waves, which was Funakoshi's pen name for his Chinese-style poetry. 
As Japan becomes more nationalistic there is a rebranding of karate. The kanji characters for Chinese hand are changed to the ones for empty hand, and the door, or way is added instead of the jitsu or art, to denote the budo lifestyle of other Japanese arts like judo, kendo, and so on. This rebranding proved to be extremely effective in the diffusion of karate in Japan and eventually the world. The first karate master to use the term empty hand in lieu of Chinese hand is Chomo Hanashiro, himself a student of Matsumura. However Funakoshi is credited for promoting and popularizing the change. Once karate is widely accepted as a Japanese martial art, the Butokyukai, Japan's governing body of all Japanese martial arts, implements changes to its organization, grading system, etiquette and attire as in judo, also using the Q and Dan system and also the belt system to denote rank and adopts the judo gi as uniform. Karate today is many things to different people, a sport, a system of self-defense, a way to keep fit and healthy, but most importantly karate is a lifestyle that enhances the individual both physically and spiritually.